in God's house. Let's worship Him together. Every knee shall bow.
us. Celebrate Jesus, amen. 
and give him glory this morning. Amen. Let's pray for our leaders, Pastor Mitchell. Let's pray for the Moraleses in Prescott, Arizona, and uh, Pastor Hart, Pastor Cassio, Pastor Galvan, amen, all laboring in Prescott, Arizona. Let's pray for the Cape Cod Church. We're going to lift up the Campos, the Ganeers, and let's pray for the Suspanskis and the Kings in Jacksonville. Let's remember Pastor Keith and Kerry Sullivan, my pastor in Greece, not in Greece, in Rochester. Amen. We're in Greece. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Let's pray for the Greece Church. Amen. All our families. Amen. People that are missing here and uh, people that will be coming tonight. Let's also pray for uh, unspoken requests. Maybe you have a need in your life that I did not mention. I'm going to ask you to raise your hand. Amen. That'll be a sign before God. And he's going to help you. He's going to move. Whatever you ask in my name, Jesus said, I will do it for you. Let's pray for our uh, leaders, leaders of our government, our country. Let's pray for the police, the firefighters, and active military, amen, our veterans, and, uh, and all that uh, uh, people that sacrificed their lives. Let's pray that God would overshadow them. We're still remembering Liana Jones, amen, little girl, seven-year-old who has cancer, amen. Let's pray for Je uh, uh, Kenny, her father, and Wesley and Linda. Let's pray for Nate. Uh, uh, Joshua Cole, and we're going to pray for Unsuk, Asuki, and let's pray for Michael H. Yeah. Let's remember Mark Engler, who's recovering from his cancer. Uh, stage four, God gave him a miracle. Let's continue to pray for our brother and believe that miracle. Amen. To make him completely well. Amen. Let's go ahead and pray and lift up our voices together and ask God for great things because he's a great God. Amen. You can yeah. feel him in this service this morning. Barry, can you open us up in prayer when we subside? Amen. God, we thank you, God, for all that Jesus, you've done. God, your promises are good. You're faithful and just to forgive us. God, give power to these that are sick. Pray for Mark Angler. Pray for Liana, Lord. God, I pray for Kenny Jones. God, heal that little girl. That tumor in her body again. God, moving against her brain. God, I pray for our military, and our leaders in our country. God, we're asking you, we're expecting you to do great things in this season. God of Christmas, I pray people's hearts to be open and come soft into the gospel. God, save and deliver from every power, from every demon, uh, from every habit, from uh, every uh, bondage and addiction and dependency right now that is not of you, God. Bring us wholeness, God. Bring miracles this morning and in this time and on our watch, God. We're going to trust you. We're going to believe you. Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us together this morning. Ooh, yeah. church. Please help and look out for people that are not here today. Yes, Jesus. People that are looking for you, please help guide them the way. We pray this in your name, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's take a minute to greet one another, make everybody feel welcome this morning. Amen.
God's house to be a part of what God is doing. We're so thankful that you came and we want to greet you if you're online listening for the first time. Amen. God is really going to richly bless you this morning. Now we believe God for your life, for your relationship with Jesus, for your health, and for success to all you put your hand to. Amen. A few announcements for the local church. And that is, we'll be back again at 5.30 for our evening prayer. We have a evening worship on Sunday at uh, 6.30. Amen. This Wednesday, we'll be back at 7.30 for our midweek service. And 6.30 is our time of prayer. Amen. Come and see what God is doing. Amen. It's exciting to be saved and uh, be working for the Lord. Amen. We're thankful that you're here. We have a, a few announcements. Uh, home Bible study. We had a great um, little outreach last night. Uh, but we're thinking about starting a home Bible study uh, this Friday or Saturday night. Amen. Let me know what works better for you. Uh, revival with Ernie Toppin is on the 13th and 14th of the month. We want to hear our brother from uh, England, and that is going to be in Rochester, New York. Amen. There's also an outreach planned for March 19th. That's kind of far out there, but you might want to put that on your calendar. And remember that we're part of a fellowship. Amen. A fellowship of churches. Uh, there's probably almost at least 28, 2,800 churches all over the world. And we have sister churches here in New York State that we can minister to Pennsylvania and in the East Coast here, and other churches that need our help. We're gonna uh, labor with them. And that's the beauty of having a fellowship of churches. We're knit together with a common vision, yeah. amen. And we uh, love to invest in them. We're praying for their success. As a matter of fact, Remember uh, Mike and Mary Harris in Brockport. Remember um, Matt. Matt and Sarah Stoll in Syracuse. Amen. And all that God is doing. Amen. With that pioneer work. And God's really going to help them. Amen. As we pray. Praise God. Let's change the order of our service. Um, we had an outreach yesterday. Amen. We met at uh, Walmart and... Uh, we invited people to our movie night. Does anybody want to give a testimony about the movie night? It was awesome. Oh, you want to, why don't you stand up and tell us what happened? I hate to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it was very, it was a very surprising movie to add football and God together in one. It was a very moving movie. I cried. I laughed. <laughs> it was yeah. very informative, and to see how these macho boys that you know were cool, and to be able to get a whole bunch of people together and pray in a field, and then conquer the world was just like wonderful. Mm -hmm. It was a very good movie. Good I'm very disappointed to even watch it sooner. <laughs> <laughs> So I want you to remember that evangelism does work. We were handing out flyers, and Jose and I met this wonderful woman here in her car, and, and here she is today. Amen. Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel, and there will be results of your faithfulness and um, your labors as you try to reach your family, your friends, people who you work with. Let's uh, change the order of the service take our offering. This is called Tent Maker Pastor from 2 Corinthians 11 9. And when I was present with you, Paul is writing, and in need, I was a burden to no one. For what I lacked, the brethren who came from Macedonia supplied. And in everything I kept myself from being burdensome to you. So I will keep myself. Paul is teaching us here that he was what they call a tent-making pastor. He was by trade, by occupation, he was a tent-maker. And so he didn't really even charge for his services, for all his preaching, amen, he uh, would, would work free of charge, and that's exactly what we're doing here. My wife and I are not making any money off of you. We're not getting a salary. Nothing is being paid for in our lives. We're doing this freely. Why? Because... 
We love the work. We love what God is doing. Amen. Paul says, I haven't taken any money from you for my wages. And Paul was working. So I'm going to ask you this morning, amen, to give to God. I'm going to ask the usher to come forward and give to God out of a cheerful heart, knowing that you're not pocketing my bank account, that's for sure. We are moving towards not independence, but we want to be self-supporting. And then all of you are faithful in your giving. We understand that. And keep giving. Amen. We are going to become self-supporting. That means that we're going to be paying for everything that we invest in. The lights, the building, the flyers, the outreaches that we have, the food. Uh, everything that we invest in for the kingdom of God will be paid for eventually. Amen. And perhaps one day there will be a salary. Perhaps one day we will send out other churches too. I want you to have a long-term vision here. This is not just for now to make sure that all these light bulbs are working. We're not paying for the light bulbs. We're just going to be a blessing to God and let God be glorified as we give. Amen. Brother David, can you pray for the offering? We thank you, Lord, that our sustenance is in your hands and you promised to meet our needs. And we thank you, Lord, that for, I can testify for 50 years now. us and we ask that you take what we give and multiply it and use it to help people that need to <laughs> there are so many people that need to so that in your name Jesus. Amen. Lord bless you. And you can click the link online if you want to make a donation. Every knee shall bow